Okay, Mary Beth, we got the hills up and I've got her portrait and her um, illustration and then her uh, typographic portrait. So let me talk about the portrait first. Okay, first of all, I think this is a wonderful image to use. You've, you really selected a great image. Now, I remember commenting on this piece and saying that I, I, I think it should be simplified. And these areas right here all just really need to be simplified and smoothed out. Let me show you something that's kind of a neat little technique. But if I take this guy right here, okay, and I'm going to back this down, and I'm going to see, watch these areas get simplified as we back off. You can see how, okay, you see how now they're real. it's really just plain as day, um, the dark areas, the mid-tones, the blacks, and the whites. Okay, and that is what we're going to do by smoothing those areas out. It's just going to make it a little bit easier for you to place text in those area. Let me describe what I mean. But before I do that, I just want to talk about a couple of characteristics of Hills. Hills. Um, somebody's been calling her Hills, and now I'm stuck on that. So anyway, look at Hillary's face. Um, now, you've got some good depth here because you're using this black. And the black is really, really, really reaching in to, to, to the depths of this um, illustration and just pulling out that depth. So that's wonderful. The one thing I want you to notice about Hillary, there's three things that really characterize her. The eyes, of course. Okay. The, the, the shapes of her eyes are, I don't think, are very well represented here because she's got like these eyes that are like kind of like upside down smiles and they're really 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 a, 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 I think they're a, a major characteristic of her face the other thing is she's got these really super round really round cheeks now <clears throat> it's going to be hard to depict those cheeks using tonality so what can we do let's use this line right here to assist in developing the robust volume of those cheeks. Okay, you got this one right here. And that's why that side of the face is really complete, much more complete than this side of the face. The eye is underdeveloped, I think. The cheek, and then get that mouth down too, because she's got those wrinkles that are also very, very characteristic. I think the hair is great, and the neck area is great too. So let's take a look from there to here. Okay. I think, I want to get these both here so we can look at them both at the same time, but, darn it. Okay, this is a mistake, and, 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 I, and I think that you're doing good work. I just think that this is a mistake. I can tell by your writing that you want to do well on this piece. I, I, really, I, I can feel it. Using color is, is a very, very big mistake. I think right now, and using the words in the background right now, listen, this is not to say that I'm... And your time, you can't do whatever you want. Turn this into your own personal piece. Use the do whatever you want. But for the for this class, let's get through this class first, and then you can take it from there. But I think it's really important to keep this at a, a typographic portrait um, with the intent intact, so that when your portfolio, your your hiring professional, somebody who's interested in hiring you, is looking at your portfolio, saying, "Okay, I understand Mary Beth. She understands." how to manipulate type in order to have it work to her, her benefit. Right now, we're not seeing that, and there's too many things in the way. The blue background, the red hair, the blue, and the, and the dark in the, the mouth. Those are all a mistake. Let me tell you why. Matter of fact, let me show you why. You know how I love my examples. Here we go. Scott, thank you very much. Scott, I, <laughs> I've been using Scott's example here. Because um, it's just so wonderful, and it's just a, a just a wonderful example. It's it's just tailor made to explain how you can make your um, your your portrait better. Okay, so let's look at Scott's and look at yours, and look what Scott has done. Okay, he's used the white area. He's used the highlights as the highlights. That's smart. Okay, so what he's done is he's taken the darkest areas. In your case, it would be here. I'm sorry, the darkest areas would be the eyes, where you have the black, the nostrils, that little bit of the mouth, some of the highlights and lowlights in the hair, okay? And you just fill those in with black. Now, you can take that type and manipulate it, 
so that it fits around some of the contours you're trying to make. Now, a cheek is shaped like this. Yes, a cheek is shaped like this. Therefore, it would make sense to shape the type like that. And that's how you're going to start building the contours of the face. Okay? See this eye right here? Hillary's eyes, we said, are like upside down smiles. Well, yes, we're going to go ahead and contour the type like that. Okay? Then, as we can see, he very effectively took another shade this time a lighter shade of gray to develop the mid-tones and the shadow areas. And he started placing those, okay, appropriately, as we can see how you would do here, okay? And it's just a matter of going from white to dark doing that. That's why I was so adamant about suggesting at least three different tones in the uh, um, actual, the original illustration, okay? So that's where I'd like to see. Now, I'm not seeing much, much dimension here. Okay, so as remember I was saying, you, you, you shape the, first of all, this face right here looks so much fatter than Hillary's face. And look at the nose, and, and the nose is just so wide. Her nose is not that wide. I mean, clearly, she's got a wide nose, but it's not that wide. Um, so I'm just like, I, listen, I will tell you. <laughs> will tell you that when I opened this, I was like, oh, yeah, it's Hillary. So, I mean, it's it's good. I mean, you can definitely tell who it is, but I think we can just drill this thing. I really, really am excited on this, this, this portrait. Plus, the timing is so wonderful. <laughs> Don't forget the neck, too. Don't forget the neck, because otherwise we just have a floating head, which I think a lot is what a lot of people think Hillary is anyway. It's just kind of a floating, talking head. But I am not making any political statements whatsoever. I'm just talking about art. <laughs> All right. So anyways, um, let's take it from there. Okay, if you have any questions or comments or if you need any help whatsoever, please don't hesitate to contact me. Thanks very much, Mary Beth.